Uh, before we start, Storyfire, it's a big thing that's heading up right now. I'm trying to be against YouTube, you know. I have an account there if you guys want to go follow. Wanted to get my full experience with the platform to see if I'm going to make a change to go to YouTube. Or, you know, if I should start there and, you know, do that and YouTube at the same time, you know. I don't know. If you guys want to follow me, you know, it's Fanta goes 2 through 9. Not, not a big, di not a big shock or anything. But, um, yeah, let's talk about YouTube because now I've been seeing things that's happening to the, excuse me, certain creators that I've been watching and, <laughs> excuse me, and stuff that's happening to myself. One, the number one thing is that YouTube. I feel like they don't care about the community at all. I feel like they can't fully help their communities at all. They're content creators. I feel like they can't give them the best support that they need. And like it's I feel like it's it's just it's just ridiculous. The platform is just a big mess. Um and I and I just hate that and I hate the whole censorship and everything. I don't like its rules. The rules are pretty stupid for the most part. But some of the rules are just, you know, understandable. But then there's other things that they're, they're just ridiculous. So, yeah. One um, I've seen a lot is people are abusing the copyrighted system. You know, you can't use anything on YouTube without getting it, you know, demonetized or, you know, something that you can't use because it has copyrighted stuff. But I thought everything was in fair use. Clearly not. Clearly not everything is fair use. And that's just ridiculous. Like, people are abusing the copyrighted system for, 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 like, little things. Like, people can claim, like, a, like, like, music artists, they can claim, like, a five second of, of your video that you used for only five seconds. They will claim that for whatever, like, for money that they want. You know, it's ridiculous. The copyrighted system is broken, and it's being abused the hell out of it. And the false the false um false not copyright it's like fo false like videos being taken down is really ridiculous and it's mainly coming from the commentary community which i follow sub to optimus you know i love him i love him penguin zero um some ordinary gamer i like those guys they're my favorite commentary guys that i would you know look up to when it comes to their videos and it's just hard for them as a creator because they're always complaining about how criticism in YouTube is actually being taken as harassment. And there is a clear difference between criticism and harassment. It's 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 just like ridiculous how people would just false claim your video to be harassment, which is really is criticism. And that's what's stupid because YouTube would just take their side on it but not the creator side for making the video in the first place yes if it is about harassing and everything it's understandable but if it's just a video criticizing about someone they could just false report that video saying it's harassment and it will win on their favor and that's what it is about the copyright system they'll they'll try to Recounter it back and say it's in fair use and they'll literally take that to the person they copyrighted in the first place saying hey this is this is fair use to you and they're more likely going to say no and that's what it's broken there the rules it's just stupid mainly with the whole censoring ship and everything i started to begin child friendly hopefully it can help get my channel grow it really is not um it really didn't do much for me until i started to you know stop being child friendly i started to swear a lot you know i got monetized still continuing to get still continuing to swear and then the problem arised when my videos, when when one of them was, I think, about my, my buddy who was raging and he said so many cuss words, you know, I didn't censor that or anything. It was funny, you know. I find that to be so hilarious and I want you guys to laugh with me as I laugh with I laugh at him for raging. And that video got, I think it's either got demonetized or they're just limited ads there. And it's just like... They're making a big emphasis about swearing being like a whole issue, which in reality, all people swear around the world. And you can't really stop swearing because it's not like I invented it. It's not like I, 
I just came up with all these words. No, it's either my parents or my grandparents' generation that they began um, inventing swear words. So you can't really blame people around the world for hearing it because it's it's just it's just it's just all over the world. People swear. You can't really censor them, you know. But censoring them online just to only to only censoring your creators just for them to get monetized and everything is just ridiculous like they're human beings dude like you you, I, you don't need to do that in the first place in order to get them to stop because again you, you can't really stop it because it's everybody does it you know it's ridiculous there and that's what's happening on my part because i swear too much the music from video games that i cannot take down is getting no monetization you know i i want my channel to grow but i can because of this youtube being so stupid of how they run their platform and everything but alongside with this i had the worst experience when it comes to monetization i didn't know how to do it i don't know how to set up everything i had the biggest struggle of doing it and I could not get any help from YouTube at all until I went to Twitter and at them. Like, the problem is, is that if you're going to support your creator or your content creator, if you're going to help out your creator, there should be an email to help the creator. But no, not really. All they did, all they, I, I, I tried to find their email, nothing. It literally took me one tweet at Twitter, only one tweet from Twitter to at them at YouTube and at Team YouTube and for them to respond to me less than two hours to go contact this and this and this. The, like, there's nothing wrong with that. The problem is, why isn't that there presented in front of me in the first place? Why do I have to go through such lengths to go on Twitter to order the at them for only for order for them to respond back to me? That That is just ridiculous. And I, and I, I, I can't handle that, man. It sucks, man. I don't I don't like that. I don't like how they're treating me. I don't like how they're treating anybody like this cuz it's just really unfair. I don't know, and that's what's making a lot of creators going to Storyfire because it solves most of the problems that YouTube is is giving out right now. They're literally just dicking down every content creator, making sure it's child-friendly as much as they can. But here's my question. If you're trying to make it child friendly, why why is YouTube Kids a thing then? Why is YouTube Kids a thing then? Okay, Wh why is that a thing? You're 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 basically making your app the exact app that you made for younger audience. It doesn't make any sense, and you can't really blame the kid. Cause if you're gonna buy your children a phone, they must they they gotta have YouTube Kids first. You gotta install YouTube or not you make it a way for them to not use YouTube and for them to order to use YouTube Kids, and that will solve majority of the problem. If the parents can step up and take away YouTube and put in YouTube Kids, so that way there won't be any complaints or anything about how kids, younger kids, are um, watching content creators that are just using the f bombs and all that shit. It's just stupid. And YouTube needs to fix something. Or not fix something. YouTube needs, as a platform, needs to fix everything with their content creators and, and, and everything. The copyrighted system, false copyright, all that. They need to fix it before Storyfire that's coming up that's going to compete with YouTube until it gets better and better and popular. If when and when it does, YouTube is gonna make all the changes that everybody's been waiting for 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 their content creators to tear on their platform instead of Storyfire. And trust me, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. So mark my words there. But again, if you guys wanna go look up uh follow me on Storyfire, name is Sanigo C39, let me know what you guys think about YouTube for all this being a terrible platform and all that stuff let me know in the comment section if not that's okay with me please check down my description for channels and socials all that stuff but anyways ladies and gentlemen my name is Santa goes through through nine and i hope you have a wonderful morning morning night day evening whatever the occasion is and i'll see you all lovely ladies and gentlemen in the next one later